What's going on again, everybody? Uh, working on the RV today, so figured I would share a little update with you. Uh, actually, uh, one other thing, maybe you guys can help. Uh, when I bought the RV, actually when I test drove it, the, it drove great. And then naturally, as I was driving it home, it was, uh, I think, third and fourth gear started making a little bit of rattling noise uh, when it shifted. Um, I think it was just as it shifted up. I haven't got underneath there or looked or anything. But I don't know if it's actually internal or maybe it's just something uh, next to the transmission that is a little loose and when it shifts it vibrates a little more or something and I'm hearing some metal or something uh, rattle but it's also now today I was moving it forward and it feels like something's bogging it down when I'm hit the accelerator and when I get let off the gas it kind of stops you real quick so I don't know if that's related to the transmission as well or it kind of makes it kind of feels like it's coming from the back, so I'm thinking maybe the rear brakes might be sticking some, since it hasn't been drove much. But uh, hopefully it's just the brakes sticking, and maybe when I get it out here drive it, it'll uh, kind of correct itself. But uh, yeah, if you have any suggestions, please uh, feel free to let me know. But uh, yeah, today burning up in here. Today I was working, well yesterday I was recalking around some of the the bottom half of the driver's side of the RV getting rid of all the caulking and around every corner and crease and line there is that it had it on it. Uh, I made another video for that I haven't uploaded it yet it'll probably come after this video. But, uh, yeah, so I was doing a little bit more of that today as well until I get sidetracked and start working on something else, which actually needed to be done before I did any more caulking. But on the back here, right behind this ladder, the fiberglass had come out a little bit of from the frame. There are the little trim piece that holds it in, and uh, it's actually damaged over on the corner. I think someone backed into something and it probably popped all of it loose. But so I was working on that today and I'll go ahead and share share and show that with you right now. Got that all fixed up. Still got to do the the roof. Kind of holding off on doing that. Make sure I get all the leaks fixed first. So once I get everything caulked up around and sealed up real good, I'll get back to that. But, uh, show you what I mean. Get it in focus. There we go. This trim piece, get it in focus again. Well, the fiberglass was sticking up over this trim piece. So I took this trim piece off and uh, kind of bent it a little bit to go back over the fiberglass and resealed everything. But you can see where it's damaged right here. tried pulling the bumper off but uh, pulled the spare tire off but uh, yeah I had the GoPro running a little bit while I took the I was trying to take the spare or the bumper off and uh, having I was having some trouble with it so I just ended up taking the top two screws off and just kind of 
letting it sag down a little bit and I was able to work work on it. I wasn't able to get this to the screws with the bumper where it was so I didn't figure that out until after I would started decided I was going to do that little project but that's all on there good now and uh, so I needed to take the spare tire off as well because uh, when I get ready to paint it so I got to pull the stripes off that I couldn't reach behind the tire but uh, yeah that is all of the updates right now uh, I'll include the little bit of the GoPro footage uh, right after this and uh, yeah I don't know it shut off at one point because it ran out of battery so I don't know how much I've actually got on it but yeah that's about it if any of you know what might be causing my transmission slash uh, acceleration issue please feel free to let me know I'm kinda thinking it's just like I said the uh, a brake sticking or something that's what I'm hoping. But yeah, thanks for watching and uh, feel free to hit that subscribe button.
Okay, what I've done is I've pulled the spare tire off, lowered the bumper down a little bit, and pulled the trim off for this side. What had happened was whenever this got damaged, I'm thinking the fiberglass popped out from the trim. So the trim was below this, the fiberglass, so water could get up in it and everything. So I'm just resetting the trim, covering the fiberglass. And what I'm going to do now is just go ahead and caulk around anything that I see before I put the trim back on. So that's what I'm going to do right now.